Hey guys, what's up and welcome to iCode. Well, this video is going to be very, very interesting. You know why? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hack WPA and WPA2 passwords. So, let's get started. I've already started my Kali Linux virtual machine and here it is. And I've already plugged in my wireless card. If you can see right here, fconfig and there you go. WLAN0 is my wireless interface. That means I've plugged in my TP-Link wireless card. Now, coming to the point, how to hack WPA and WPA2 passwords? Well, to be honest, WPA and WPA2 cracking is pretty tough unless and until you have some information about that particular password. Something like, you know, length of the password or position of certain letters or numbers in that particular password. Only then cracking WPA and WPA2 passwords will be easy. Otherwise, it will take years, believe me. So. You can hack WPA and WPA2 passwords only if you have some information about that particular passwords. Got it? Fine. In this video, I'm going to be showing you dictionary attack. That is basically, we are going to generate a word list. Word list is basically a list of words out of which we feel that there is password for our router. So that is called a word list. And we are going to generate our word list using a command called crunch. And let me just show you how to use crunch. So let me just type in crunch, C-R-U-N-C-H and help so that we could see how to use crunch. And as you can see right here, crunch can create a world list based on criteria that you specify. And this is how you use crunch. Crunch, the minimum length of the password, the maximum length of the password and certain options. Let's see what are those options. So you're going to type manual crunch. And there you go. These are the set of options that you can use with crunch. So press enter. So to just navigate to the bottom of the file. And here you can see options like dash B dash C. And for this video, I'm going to be using dash T. And let me just show you what dash T does. As you can see right here, dash T specifies a pattern. So this is the command that we are going to use in this video. So let me just show you what is crunch and how to generate a word list. So. Let me just quit this manual by typing Q and now let's start generating a word list. You start by saying crunch and we give minimum length of our password and maximum length of our password. And for information, I'm going to hack a router whose password is top coder 2. So this is the password top coder 2. Great. So we start by saying crunch. We give minimum length of the password. As I know that my password length is 9, I'm going to put 9 for both minimum and maximum length of the password. And now I'm going to give some set of letters and numbers to that particular word list so that it will use only that particular numbers and letters to generate our word list. So I'm going to say the word list to use letter T and P O of course T O P C O D E R along with some other numbers such as 1, 2, 3. So basically word list is going to use only this particular letter so to generate its word list. Okay, fine. I can actually put these words in other fashion, something like top one, two, three, C O D R E, doesn't matter. Basically, we are giving all these letters and numbers so to generate our word list. Got it? Fine. Now, as I told, I'm going to use command dash T so to give it a pattern. As I know that my password is top coder 2. I'm going to tell my word list that every word in the word list starts with T and I don't know what are the next two letters so I'm going to put at the rate and I know that fourth and fifth are C and O so I'm going to put C and O right here and I don't know what is the next letter so I'm going to put at the rate again and I know that next two letters are E and R so I'm going to put E R and finally I don't know what is the last letter so I'm going to put at the rate again so basically the length is 9 and this is the pattern that I'm going to give the world list. And I'm going to generate this to a file called something like WPA world list and enter. Now it will start generating the world list. And so it's done. That was pretty fast. Now, if you type in LS, you can see that we have got a file called WPA world list. Let's see what is inside that by just typing cat, sorry, not car, cat WPA world list enter and as you can see we have generated all the different all the possible options for our password so basically if you can see here this is the pattern that i told wpa world list sorry just the world list to generate 
wait let me just paste it right here so this is the pattern that i told the word list to generate the words on it generated each word using this particular pattern that is the first word as t and the fourth word as c fifth as zero sorry not zero o and last these two letters as er as it all so basically this is how you actually use dash t command that is the pattern command got it fine so in each and every word it used this particular pattern that is t at the rate at the rate co at the rate er at the rate and in the positions where i gave it at the rate it is actually using this particular words this particular set of words so wherever there is at the rate it actually puts this particular set of words into it and generate all the possible words for that particular word list got it fine and now let's see if our password is in that word list that is top coder 2 so let me just go right here and as you can see here there is our password that is top coder 2 where is it top coder 2 there you go here is our password we're gonna use this particular word list so to hack our WPA and WPA2 router and let's see how to do it let me just type in iwconfig so that I can see if my card is in monitor mode or managed mode and as you can see my card is in managed mode let me just set that to monitor mode by just typing airman ng wlan0 start okay start wlan0 sorry so airman ng start wlan0 and as you can see monitor mode is now enabled and the name has been changed to wlan0 mon if i type in iwconfig you can see that our wireless card is in monitor mode with name wlan0 mon now let me just type in aero dump ng so to sniff packets so to capture packets around this wireless card so aero dump ng wlan0 mon and let me just give the interface as dash i enter and in a moment it will start capturing packets and this is the router that i'm going to hack that is ut star com and its password is top quarter 2 as i told you so there's a client connected to this particular ut star com as you can see so here is the bss id that is mac address of that particular ut star com and this is the same thing and there is a client for that that is this particular client this is connected to ut star com great now let me just target that particular ut star com so what i'm going to do is let me just go to terminator so that i can work with two terminals at a time so terminator yes i have terminator and let me just target only ut star com if you don't know how to target a particular access point watch my last video in that video i have told you how to actually target a particular access point using aero dump ng with some modification if you have watched that video let's go dive in so let me just target that particular access point using aero dump ng we are going to give channel for that so channel that is channel is 11 and the bss id is this particular one copy this and paste it right here in the terminator and the interface is wlan0 that's it okay not wlan0 wlan0 mon enter and now it will start sniffing packets so i can close this and work with only this particular workspace i mean terminal and now it's targeting only this particular router that is ut starcom that is my router with password stop coder 2 now how to hack that particular password first we need to generate a handshake file handshake file is actually generated by your access point by that particular router whenever a new client connects to that particular access point got it okay let me just tell you again handshake file is generated by access point whenever a new client is actually connected to that particular access point so basically whenever a client connects to that particular access point it generates a handshake file and we're going to use that particular handshake file so to hack wpa and wpa2 passwords and let me just show you how before that you need to write all this data of aero dump ng to a particular file and let me just show you how so let me just stop this process and type the same command again and at the end you need to type dash w and the file name so let me just name this handy i code file something like that handy i code and that's it enter now it will do the same process again but here for this process we are actually writing the data to that particular file handy i code 
Now, how to generate a handshake? As I told you, a handshake file is generated whenever a client connects to that particular router. As you can see, we have two clients for that particular router. So we can actually use this particular two clients so to generate our handshake file. You know how? No. Okay, let me just show you how. We're gonna basically de-authenticate one of the clients. So I'm going to de-authenticate this particular client using the de-authentication attack I've explained you in one of my previous videos and basically disconnect this particular client for two or three seconds and after that when this particular clients connect to that router again there's a handshake file that will be generated and this is how you actually get the handshake file got it fine okay I'll tell that again so basically we're gonna use this particular client to generate our handshake file we're gonna use the authentication attack so to de-authenticate so to disconnect this client from the router ut star com and later when this client connects to that particular router again there's a handshake file that will be generated and we are going to use that particular handshake file so to hack wpa and wpa to password for that ut star com that is top coded too okay i've talked a lot so let us go to the process and now let me just select split horizontally so that I can work with two terminals and now let's perform the de-authentication attack. So we start by saying a replay ng so a replay a replay ng we're gonna perform de-authentication attack and number of packets let me just give no, 10 packets that would be enough to generate a handshake file now we need to specify the clients client is this particular one that is c4b3 c2ce6f so copy this paste it right here and access point this particular one so let me just copy this and paste it here and we are going to specify the wireless interface as wlan0 mon and enter so it started sending the authentication packets as you can see now we have generated a handshake file right here there you go we got the handshake file hurrah now we can actually hack that particular wpa and wpa2 password using an another command called aircrack ng and let me just show you how to use aircrack ng use the command aircrack ng so to hack our wi-fi password so aircrack ng next we need to specify the name of our handshake file so the name of our handshake file is handy i code well i think the same okay let me just see it again so let me just type in ls and see if the name is the same so basically its name is handy i code 02 ives so let me just copy that so handy i code ives and copy this and i'm going to type aircrack ng and the name of the file that is handshake file and finally the world list world list dash w and the world list name is wpa world list enter and it started doing it work and in a minute you got your wi-fi password that is top coder 2 it found out that top coder 2 is password for this particular ut star com and this is how you actually hack wpa and wpa2 passwords guys as I told you, you can actually hack WPA and WPA2 passwords only if you have some information. As I already knew my password, that is top coder 2, it was very easy for me, but it's actually real tough. So, that's it for this video. This is how you actually hack WPA and WPA2 passwords. And also, this is end of our Wi-Fi hacking series. In the next series, I'm going to actually start explaining you how to hack computers, basically how to hack servers, computers and lot. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back with another awesome ethical hacking video. So till then, goodbye.